As the pandemic took a toll on many existing businesses throughout northeastern and central Pennsylvania, some actually opened up shop for the first time. Downtown Scranton is an example of that. And Eyewitness News reporter Mark Hiller has the story from the Electric City. This corner building in downtown Scranton was Samter's department store for decades before it was converted to lofts up above and just this year, a ground floor coffee house. And this is a frothing pitcher, so right now I'm steaming melted. Tom Bonin opened Commonwealth Coffee House at Lackawanna and Penn Avenues this past February. We conceived the idea in the summer of 2019. We did our due diligence. We never anticipated the pandemic. Customers now able to frequent the fresh brewed coffee business, its deli, or even browse its in-store boutique, couldn't for months due to COVID mitigation efforts. It's been one whack after the other. It was the same story a couple of blocks away at the main room on Wyoming Avenue near Spruce Street. 130, is that okay? Kristen Schoonmaker dreamed of running her own hair salon since she was a teenager. She spent much of 2020 renovating a vacant barbershop to make her dream come true. I had already started purchasing things and the pandemic happened. So. No turning back though. No turning back, absolutely not. It meant running the salon alone for months with one masked customer at a time and by appointment only. That changed this past April when, as the sign says, walk-ins welcome and Schoonmaker hired another hairstylist. They always say the first year is the hardest, so I kept telling myself, get through this year. It's even harder. It's, you know, it's definitely rewarding. They were already in, in, on pace. They were in preparation for opening and they just couldn't stop. Uh, and so they have been fantastic. Greater Scranton Chamber of Commerce encourages supporting startup small businesses. These people are good, hardworking Pennsylvanians. They care about this community. They've invested a lot, in many cases, all of their personal resources in this community. Something this Commonwealth Coffee House customer also believes should be rewarded. I think it, it, it takes a lot of uh, courage and everything, and I, I think it's a really beautiful place. It's right in the heart of the downtown. The Greater Scranton Chamber of Commerce is willing to welcome more businesses in the downtown. Just head to pahomepage.com to learn more about that. In Scranton, Mark Hiller, 2822 Eyewitness News. And our PA homepage site also features information for both Commonwealth Coffee House and the main room to make an appointment or place an order.